here again with another just a tip of the week. And today I want to show you how you can send out an e-blast. In this case, our monthly wizard article that uh, Craig actually makes for us. I want to show you how you can easily send it out to your entire sphere, everybody that you already have on your Moxie Engage at with one click. It's pretty cool. So this is how you're going to do it. You're going to log into Moxie Engage. And the first place I want to go to is... Make sure it's in the right mode. Ours is a little bit different. Sorry about that. We are going to go directly to where it says campaigns. You're going to click on campaigns and you're going to see all your options here. We have campaigns, e-blasts, neighborhood news, listing announcements, and my emails. What we're going to do is we're going to click on e-blasts. As you can see, we don't have anything in there. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to add it. Now, this has been made for you, so you don't have to do anything except find where it says August Wizard Article. Click Add to Campaigns. It will take a second for it to load in. You can see the green box up here that shows that it has been taken care of. Now, as you can see, we have our Wizard Article, but it has it's still a waiting setup. So what we're going to do is we're going to click Awaiting Setup. You'll see the article here. I'm going to click on it. You're going to be able to do a couple things in here once it loads up. It does take a second as it's kind of pulling up. The first thing you're going to want to do is decide who you're going to be sending this to. The second thing is identifying to make sure that this e-blast is what you want. So first step is going to be recipients. I'm going to click here and hit Setup. As you can see, we have nobody set up at this time, but I'm easily, I can add recipients this way. Now, what you will see as you go through here, these are all of my people that are in my um, Engage. Now, if you're using groups, this is where it's super, super important and super easy to be able to get to as many people as possible. If I click groups here and I want to click on all current contacts. Maybe I just want to send this to all of my sold clients, all of my warm. Let's go ahead and pick sold. Let's hit add. Now you will see we have these people that are set up for you. If there are no email addresses, a little window will pop up and say, hey, seven of these do not have emails. So obviously they will not be able to receive it. And then you would click save. The other part to do is come down here to where it says change eblast. Now, in this case, this is the one we want to send, but I could click on this. And if I wanted to just blast out, let's say one of the emails that have one of the many emails that have been provided by Century 21 and Beggins, and I just want to send out something that talks about referral requests, or I want to send out, well, it's not happy Valentine's Day yet, but any of these emails that have already been set up, I can actually choose and change, and then I would just save it to that point. Now, if you do change this email, I will make sure that you come in and edit your or what you're actually sending, because this is what your clients are going to see, which is the August wizard, wizard article. If I change the email that's going out, then I'm going to be blasting. It won't make sense. So in this case, I'm leaving it like this. I'm saving it for these five people. As you can see, once it's saved, give it just a moment, and then you're going to see this blue box up here on the top right where it's going to say send campaign. You can also click finish later if you want to. But once it is done and ready to go, we will be able to hit send. I'm going to click finish later for right now. Go in one more time just to show you. And this does take a second. Well, and the cool thing is once you do get it set up, you will see here how many people were actually in there. So now I'm going to go back. This is what the article looks like. This is what you've already seen. This is also in Moxie Present, ready for you to send that way if you'd like also. I'm going to go ahead and send, send, send campaign. Now this is all set up for the agent for you. So you don't have to add signature lines or do any of that stuff. Now when I go back to my campaigns and I'm in my e-blasts, you're going to see that it moves to archive because it's not something that's continuously running. It's it's going to be sent out once, and then it goes to the archive. The cool thing is I can click on archive, and you will see here in just a second, I send it to five people, and we will be able to see if they're opening it, if they click on it, or if they unsubscribe. 
It's a good way to see the clients that you have and you're engaged if they are actually engaging <laughs> with uh, the stuff that you're sending or if you need to change it. So that's how you send up a e-blast, in this case specifically the August Wizard article. And that's just the tip of the week.